As we do with every game, every game, every podcast, let's talk. The water thing really screwed you up, didn't it? It did, man. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> what you playing? You go first. I go first. You go first. All right. So I have been playing my NES Classic. I've been playing that a lot. And I can't say specifically what games I've been playing because there's a lot of them. I kind of had a Tetris. Give us a few. I had a Tetris tournament. I'll put it that way. There's a Tetris tournament? Well, I had a Tetris tournament. I don't know if there is a Tetris tournament. Like, did you play against yourself? No, no. I went over to my uh, my in-laws and we had a Tetris tournament. Did you win? Absolutely. But they had a good good run. But you won. Yes. So you won the tournament. I did. So you got to talk that up. You can't just be like, hey, we had a tournament. You have to say, I destroyed my in-laws <laughs> and made them <laughs> And then just cut it off and then the yeah. FBI shows up at my door. <laughs> I destroyed them. I destroyed them in a tournament of Tetris and made them cry. No, it made me happy because I brought it over. We were watching uh, our niece and nephew, and then they came home, and I pulled this out. Oh, so you were beating kids, too, huh? You got it. <laughs> <laughs> no, it was good It was good showing them what the uh, game is like. Taste of the like. Absolutely. Okay, I'm sorry. Like, you sorry. think it's all sunshine like and rainbows? <laughs> you think you get a trophy just for showing up? Wrong. Anywho, so yeah, it was good. I uh, showed him Mario, all the old school games, and then uh, we played Tetris. The Tengen Tetris, no doubt. I don't think I've ever played the Tengen So there's regular Tetris. Tetris, and then there's a Tengen, because uh, that was another, uh, like Pac-Man, there's a Tengen version of Pac-Man, Tengen mm-hmm. version of, I think, an Indi- Indiana Jones game. It's a black cartridge. Usually they're harder to find, or more expensive anyway, if you go look for them now. But the uh, big thing was they had a uh, versus mode in the Tetris so you can play. There's a cooperative mode, too, but I don't think... I didn't feel like trying that. But it was good. We played some Blades of Steel. That was actually a fun match. I played that with my brother-in-law. He actually won. But it was close. It was pretty fun. Then we got I the think I know what time. Blades of Steel is. Hockey game. Ah, okay. Yeah. Played a little Contra. See, why don't they make hockey games... Give them cool names like that anymore? That's just <laughs> NHL. It's because the NHL owns them. <laughs> Maybe games... So they can't call it something else. I guess not. I mean, they used to have third-party everything, like bases loaded for baseball. And then I think there was a... What's the robotic one? I don't know. It was like ro- there was like robot baseball or something like that. I'm going to take a word for it. I don't yeah. know. Yeah. What's wrong? Get in the level. Anywho, I won the tournament. It was fun. Sure. So that's what we were playing. Um, I've been playing God of War. The first one, the original one, like I've been saying, for PS3. Uh, the remastered version. And boy, oh boy, am I frustrated. <laughs> Why? Do you remember any of the, like, the last parts of the first one? I mean, I remember the ending. You know, when you, right, so this is spoilers, but if you haven't played it by now, you you should. But at when you get Pandora's box, like Hades, yeah. he's, he's attacking mm-hmm. Um, mm-hmm. Athena or something like that. Yeah, something. And then he throws a giant spear and kills you, technically. Yeah. Right, and then you have this whole thing, and now you're in Hades, right? Yep. And you're running around. You die, like, every time. Oh, my God. I like every game you're in Hades. Dude, I, t- I, I tell you one <laughs> thing, though. I have never... I, it's been a long time since I've been this frustrated playing the game. Mm-hmm. Like, it gets to the point where... Like, I'm climbing this Tower of Blades. Okay. You should remember that, because that's how that's bad it is. I will never forget this part. Okay. It's, it's basically you have to, there's two of them. One, you get up and it's frustrating, but then you could do it and you feel accomplished. Like, oh, wow, I did it. You even get a gold trophy for doing it. You're like, wow, this is incredible. I did it. No problem. You go a little bit further. Oh, wait, no. Now you have to climb one that's like four tiers high. And not only that, they're constantly coming. You get, and if you fall and you're higher up, you hit every blade on your way down. This sounds familiar, actually. Yeah. And if you get caught in the corner, it drags you down and kills you instantly. Ah. Because it drags you behind the level and into the the lava. It does sound familiar. And it's super frustrating. Gotta muscle through it, John. But the problem that I have with it is it makes no sense. Why? Absolutely makes sense. No, it makes no sense. Makes it hard. No, 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 no. You're going to feel like a god after you're done with that part. Well, here's the thing. Like, Kratos, he's a Spartan, right? Yeah. He's, like, strong. He does all this crazy stuff. Yep. This blade touches your fingernail. You fall. You fall like you're a soccer player that has just been brushed by a dragonfly. Oh. Uh. Yeah. Over-exaggerated, just like that. 
And it just, it's so ridiculous. Like, a, it t the blade touches a blade of hair, he flies off it, falls, hits every single blade, and then you gotta try again with the little life that you have left. Do you want me to try and beat it for you? No, you'll kill me. Okay. You'll, you'll, okay. Break, you'll break the game. <laughs> you'll never come over ever again. <laughs> Actually, I had to shut it off because there's a part that I was having trouble with, and then I finally, I figured out uh, a, a strategy for it. It's that there's a room where the floor is moving, and then there's arrow guys, and you're locked in there. And there's these, there's only like a couple solid spots that you can jump on, but if you're there for more than a couple seconds, like an uh, instant kill fire comes out and kills you with one shot. Okay. So you got the arrow guys and you got all these demon flying things coming at you all the time, like constantly, and obviously you have to kill everybody in there. I was having a hard time with that, but I found out an area um, that you can actually just kind of sit around and like floating from back, because one floor goes this way, one floor goes that way. So like if you just like rotate on them as it, and lets it, like you let the floor move you, uh -huh. you can just kind of spin in circles and kill everything eventually. But I, I finally got past that. And then I end up going to this Tower of Blades, and whoo, it's rough. I'm having a rough time. You can do it. Oh, I'm gonna. I just couldn't do it yesterday when I tried to beat it. Like, I'm like, I'm gonna sit here and beat it. So that's what I think I was mostly frustrated about, because I finally had time to do it, mm -hmm. and it just it just took like an hour of my time trying to do this thing. I'm sorry. You better be. I am very sorry. <laughs> but I, found, I, I find the story very cool. I'm very glad I'm going back because I do find the story interesting. A lot of it's flashbacks. Like, this is mm -hmm. kind of like a prequel to the sequel, yeah. right, basically? Well, that technically, isn't every sequel a prequel to the sequel? Yes, but this is like, the, the way it's set up is you usually play a game and then it leads into the sequel. This one, mm -hmm. I feel like, is being told from the sequel's perspective before the sequel's even invented yet. Makes sense? Makes sense to me. I don't remember. It's been a long time since I played those games. But I find it neat that uh, you find out how he's... Like, him just being pale isn't just him. Like, that's a actual... With a skin disease? <laughs> yeah, man, it's pretty messed up what it is. So it's pretty, it's kind of cool actually. But so it's cool, his curse, but not cool. Yeah, exactly. We'll just say it's his curse, if you will. But uh, I'm glad I'm playing it. And yeah, so I didn't really play anything other than that. So I've been, like I said, I've been playing my NES Classic and having a good time with that. So Fun. Carmine, what have you been playing? Well, before I got to what I was playing, I got it a NES Classic because of my friend. Got me a NES Classic, which was nice to have. Did you ask him, or were you? No, no, he just he just gifted it. We were down. Uh, I had to go down to down the shore for the for a wedding for a friend, and uh, I haven't seen him in a while. And he actually gifted me and this other guy that we uh, that we talked to. Um, was it his NES wedding? Classics. No, it was his wedding. I was gonna say that's pretty yeah. pretty awesome. Um, <laughs> this is my he, wedding. He, he has a retail hookup <laughs> from the warehouse that you know kind of yeah. Now, has the capability that can was find that out when it's because you weren't gonna get one. No, I wasn't even. I wasn't even gonna bother with it. I mean, I'm assuming that they're out there, but I mean, now that I have one, I he's have watching one. this and listening to this now. And he's like, just, it's like I was gonna give that to someone that wanted one. No, I, I mean, I, I I never really showed any kind of sign of like, oh, I definitely need this. Yeah, but I mean, it's great that I have it now. You feel important. I do. Very important. You can have Tetris tournaments now. Yes, I can. You're so lucky. But I don't think I would do it on an NES Classic. I'd probably just like get regular Tetris. PS4, like the Switch. Nope. Poi Poi Tetris. I Poi think that's Poi. the name of the game. Ah, uh, that was on Super Nintendo. Well, that's on Switch, too. Interesting. It is. Very it's much awesome. so. Um, but yeah, so game. So my birthday was a couple weeks ago. He is now 45. No, I'm not. I'm not that old. <laughs> How dare you. <laughs> um, but I got some uh, some birthday cash, if you will. Cache. Some birthday gift money. Bitcoin. And uh, it just so happened that, uh, you know, the Sony mid-year sale was going on. So there's a bunch of games that were on sale. Um, so I ended up swiping up Wolfenstein 2, Prey, Fallout 4 for like, I think it was like 60 or 70 bucks. Nice. Or Actually, it was probably closer to 50. And then I also picked up uh, Matterfall and Alienation, which are the two games that are done by... Uh, I think it's oh my gosh. The developers that do Resogun, I can't think of the actual names. I'll see Marquee Games. Sounds familiar. But okay, I'm I'll look it up. I'm surprised you got Fallout Four. I know, I am too. 
Why is that? Why did know. you get Fallout 4? I don't know. You'll never play it's it. spur of the moment. Um, you can try to play it. You want to know what it is? It's just like it's one of those things that like I like we have the summer, and there's nothing really coming out until September that I'm going to be like, ooh, I got to play. So what I'm trying to do is trying to kill some of the backlog, and you know maybe I will go back and play Fallout 4 eventually. Um, because I didn't think I was ever going to beat Doom, but I finally beat Doom. Oh, you did finally beat I did. Beat I Doom. finally beat Doom. Um, a lot of my assessments of that game are still the same. Okay. Um, I think it's very repetitive in a lot of sense. Uh, but the, it makes you feel like a freaking badass, which is great. Um, but I started enjoying the game maybe about halfway through a lot more or closer to the end of the game. Yeah. Uh, like, like the final third is where I really started enjoying it. Um, but the game mechanics are just the game mechanics. Like, like you go in a room, you kill everything, move to the next room, kill everything. Um, there's no really different kind of, it has some pacing issues, I guess you could say, with that kind of stuff. But there's really, really cool moments. And I don't want to spoil stuff, but when you get a certain gun in the game that's been in every Doom game, I think, since the beginning of time, so it's not really a spoiler. Um, that's an awesome moment. So you have these awesome moments where you feel like a badass. Um, the levels were great. You get a little bit of backstory about who the Doom Marine even is. Mm-hmm. Uh, so all in all, I enjoyed it. I still, I, like my book. I still think it's like a solid like eight, eight point five maybe. That's not bad. No, I think it's a great game. Um, it definitely um, does what it was what it was meant to do. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Um, but yeah, so I finally beat that. So I was excited about that, and because I was on a Bethesda kick, that's when I saw like on the sale like on the sale page. I was like, all right, well, there's Prey, which I eventually wanted to play because I hear. It's close to, like, Bioshock, and I'm a big fan of Bioshock. Like they said, it's very close to that type of a game. Yeah, yeah, um, uh, And then Wolfenstein 2, I do eventually just want to beat. Um, and then Fallout 4, I grab, just in case I ever want to get lost in a game that takes me X amount of uh, time. I also, like, I'm somewhat intrigued by Fallout 76. Mm-hmm. I feel like a game like that could be somewhat interesting to play with four people. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But I do want, I felt like I needed to kind of experience Fallout 4. I, I know Fallout 3 is, like, by far, supposedly, like, the best game to play um, from the Fallout series. Yeah, yeah. But I am going to play Fallout. I, I'm going to try Fallout 4 eventually. Um but got those games. Matterfall is really good. It's like Resogun, but like a side-scrolling action game. Okay. Um, fantastic. Are you in a, was that a spaceship nope. kind of rail the, shooter? Resogun was the spaceship dual stick shooter. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And Alien Nation is almost like a, not, I don't want to say Metroidvania because there's like single levels. It's like Contra? Um, almost like a Contra. Oh, nice. And with awesome freaking particle effects of Resogun. So, like, when you're blowing stuff up, there's I, tons yeah, of particle I've effects that That's are going for PS4? On. That's for PS4. It's called Matterfall. Is it multiplayer? Uh, I don't know if it's multiplayer. I don't think so. Because it's just like, a the single character. Up. It's it's a fun game. Yeah. It's Because it keeps score and everything like that. You have to... There's certain, like, puzzle elements, of, like, jumping here Is there or there. Is there a physical copy of that? No, it's only digital. It's but market, why I'm I didn't pretty get sure it. it's market games. That's why I didn't get it. Um, <laughs> that was the last game that they actually... Uh, made before they pretty much came out and said all right we're gonna go and try and make something bigger now yeah, yeah because yeah. the arcade space just isn't really where they want it to be right but which is a fun. shame because i kind of you know it's a whole nother topic but i do wish it was more everything was still kind of geared towards games like that because i mean you have the battle royale stuff but i just wish they like it's like one of those things like i don't know if there is like an arcade game like arcade cabinets for games like that but that's like that's what they would be awesome for they like make, have Resogun in like an arcade yeah. cabinet, like an they arcade make, um, like, or like something. for instance, like emulators and ROMs and stuff like that. Yeah. They have the cabinets so you can run it off that. Like yeah. you put a PC mm. in the in the cabinet and then you yeah. run. You have like all these arcade games on them. Yeah. So it's still it's still interesting. A lot of collectors do it. And a lot of people that are just uh, like yeah. host parties and stuff like that and um, like uh, kind of like businesses too. They'll, they'll open that up and up like. Um, I think some people turn uh, like arcade bars or something like that, mm-hmm. which is a cool concept. It's a busters, sort of, but you know they have like things like that. Anyway, continue. Um, so Matterfall, I actually played that. I started playing Wolfenstein again. Uh, Alienation, I haven't started up yet, but Alienation is like a four-player co-op. They can do four-player co-op on oh, that. Me- um, I don't know if you ever played Dead Nation. It's the over the top sh- like dual six shooter. I've seen I've seen what it is. Yeah, great game. I like it a lot, and it's just alienation with four players. So it's like Neat. you kill aliens instead of the actual zombies. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, I'm starting to realize the kind of smaller like indie titles that I enjoy, because another game that I got for my trip down to the uh, the shore for the wedding, 
Um, I don't, I knew I was going to be in the hotel, so I bought a couple games from the e shop, the Nintendo e shop, and uh, I got Celeste, which I hear is great. Um, I didn't play that game yet. I know I, I hear it's like it's a lot of people's uh, runner, one of the runners for game of the year right now. Oh really? Yeah. I um, what is that? I think it is like a, a Metroidvania, but it's like a really like. 8-bit, 16-bit type feel, of style. Oh, yes. I, I actually just saw something. Yep. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Um, the other one I got that I was pretty excited to play, and I'm glad I got it, was um, Hollow Knight, and I started Hollow Knight. Mm-hmm. Um, and that's what you like that? Right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. It's, 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 it's the first time I've had that feeling, and it's like one of those things where I'm having that feeling like I, I, I can sit there and play it in my hands. Like, I, I'm, I'm going to the Switch and wanting to grab it and play it and sit there and play it. Yeah, yeah, Um, I haven't really had a feeling of I really want to play a game on the Switch since Mario Odyssey. So for this game to go and grab me like that, I feel like it's it was yeah, perfect. Yeah, yeah. I, I like it a lot. Well, I'm only about three hours in, but it's Metroidvania. Um, there is some of a grinding element to it and the stuff that you grind for, like, you can go in and kill enemies gather some currency, jump back up to the shop, mm-hmm. unlock some things that make you, it makes the game somewhat easier from a navigation standpoint mm-hmm. or from a collecting resources standpoint. Um, but you do get different upgrades. Like you'll come across different characters as you're going in through like this underground caverns, all these yeah, underground yeah. caverns and you're getting different abilities. Yeah, yeah. Um, I think that's it allows good. you to lo- unlock different areas. Um, so yeah, so that's one of the things I've kind of noticed in the last couple of weeks. I haven't been, I wasn't on last week, but like, for, from an indie perspective, the kind of smaller niche type titles that I seem to be really gravitating towards are like the dual stick shooters and uh, the Metroidvania games. Because mm-hmm. like the last Metro, the last uh, Metroidvania game I played that I really liked was Ori and the Black Forest, which is the same kind of thing. That's a Metroidvania game. Mm-hmm. So you have the entire map, you go into different areas, unlock certain abilities, and then you're able to actually go and progress through different areas. Would you consider Shovel Knight something like that? Shovel Knight, I do not, because there's no. levels to that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, so the Metroidvania is the, the description of the Metroidvania is, is that you have there's an entire map that's drawn out. Yeah, like like Metroid. And, yeah, and but the certain, game plays like Castlevania. Yeah, so it's well, Metroid Castlevania, Mania. yeah, Castlevania and Metroid are the same, same in the sense of you have a section of the map that you have. Certain areas you're going to get to, and you're not going to be able to open them up until you get different abilities or items from somewhere else. Yeah. And then that opens up another area, and it kind of has this this natural progression system. But there's also this amazing exploratory element to mm. it. So I'm finding that, like, from an indie perspective, like, that seems to be the kind of games that I will spend time with. Yeah. Um, along with, like, the dual-stick shooters. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, yeah, it's hard to, uh, like, when we're talking that versus like triple a games and stuff like that yeah i kind of enjoy those little games you can hop into and yeah and like i said I, I was really surprised by like hollow knight's been on my mind since i like started playing it down the shore yesterday yeah, yeah. and i was playing like yesterday for about an hour and a half two hours just mm-hmm. kind of exploring um because at first i was like i don't really know what to do and then it's just you kind of it's like one of the, with any of those games you're kind of like going to this area have i been here before okay did i unlock everything okay go back yeah yeah and kind of map it out and see where you need to go in order to unlock the rest of the game mm-hmm. um that reminds me i was actually i got stuck in super metroid on the uh SNES classic yeah <laughs> but that's the same sort of thing like exactly why they call it metrovania yeah um so I seem to really enjoy those and like the like I said the for smaller games like the dual stick shooters. Yeah, um, I gotta look into those. The only thing I, is just uh I want the physical copies. Yeah. But and and for Switch, that's the same thing. Like for me, I didn't get uh Sonic Mania yet because I'm like I do have that too. I Switch. want the physical copy of the game, but it's like do I want it for PS4 or on Switch? Because like you say, it's so much it's that type of game where you just yeah, want to you wanna pick and it play up. and you want to put it down yeah like i like I and mean, that's the thing like i don't know if i would just dedicate my entire you know 55 inch 4k tv to like oh, i want to play some hollow knight yeah you know yeah, yeah. and don't get me wrong hollow Knight's beautiful because like, that was the other thing like, like the that. the art style of that game is awesome it's fantastic there's very it's it's the animation style is kind of cartoonish but you, it's it's hard to explain without actually playing it but it's just really really well done from yeah, an art yeah. style uh perspective well that's what i wish more game like um when i look at like Mega Man 11's coming out like i yeah. wish they kind of adapted something similar to yeah. i mean it, it from the first time i saw Mega Man 11 to the, the most recent trailer sure it looks okay it looks it looks better than it did but i still like that yeah like the, you know, I don't like that 3D blocky, I like the 2D, what is it, like a 2.5 
even though that's yeah, not it's, I mean, it's only two point five D in the sense of like there's depth to it. Yeah, like, you have different layers of the level that you can right. kind of see in the background. Um, and Matterfall is the same way. Yeah. Like there's depth to it. Like yeah. you actually like when you go through a portal on Matterfall, you actually kind of go back into the level. Mm-hmm. Um, but there's no really like hidden secrets. You can't really turn into the level right. for the rest it's of the like actual a, gameplay. What would I say? Like, but a... there's depth to it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. So that's that's cool. Um. And the other thing I tried was um, Fortnite on the Switch. Oh, so you, you, never, you, you haven't played on Switch yet? I haven't played on Switch. No, I actually downloaded it for the for the trip. Um, I was playing it the first night for a little while. Um, hotel Wi-Fi sucked, <laughs> mm-hmm. so I actually made a, a hotspot with my phone, and I was able to actually uh, play uh, Fortnite pretty easily with just the hotspot on my phone. Nice. Um, I assume... came in third. Oh, yeah, hey, not bad. Yeah. Um, obviously, though. And I'm gonna make this known, the the Fortnite competition on Switch is obviously not where it is on PC and other platforms. Well, wow. like it's just it's, listen. It's anyone hard to go anyone and that could feel the way wreck somebody using a mouse and keyboard yeah. and just like freaking map everything yeah. out like that. Kudos to you. Power to you. I probably won't even attempt it, mm-hmm. <laughs> but good luck. Um, so yeah, I'm but, sure it plays fine. And everything looks. Yeah, great. I mean, again, with the, when the connection, when I had the crappy hotel yeah, connection, we just wasn't doing it. But when I when I hotspotted it with my phone, worked perfectly. No, yeah. no, no problems, no hiccups. Yeah, and that was wrecking fools. Their places. When I say wrecking, I was like killed two people, but, but I made it to three. Yeah, you you held out. That's right. That's all you have to Showed do. Showed them. Um, no for the best. But yeah, I mean, like I said, it's awesome. Again, Switch is always going to be my travel console probably more than sit down and play yeah but, it's uh um, that's what i remember with the psp it's, it's nice having that with yeah. the uh but with the switch it's so much convenient having the little sd cards yep. versus uh like an actual anything bigger than that you yeah. just put them in a little carrying case if you have them and doop. exactly um actually did you happen to pick up any uh extra um memory this weekend? No. Why is it was it available? Prime had a deal. It was like sixty something gig, sixty four gigabyte SD. No, I don't know if I'm gonna or risk SD mini whatever. Because like you can't. There's no cloud saves right now, mm-hmm. so it's all on the that that flash card anyway. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So I don't think you can move your save games over to a new card yet, right? Uh, well, unless you like get something that I don't know. That's a good question. I don't know if there's. I think that's what the big deal is: is that they're waiting for the cloud saves. Oh, so you can. There's no way to increase switch them. this. Yeah. Well, hold on my, to one and then just swap them out. Yeah. But that takes effort. No, it's like memory. I, I don't want to lose. I nope. don't want to lose the little nope. tiny little nope. freaking <laughs> SD card that I spent like a hundred something bucks. Keep on. Keep it with a game. Don't 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 don't. Come I'm here with giving your logic. you options. Don't come here with your logic. <laughs> Who gets game cases anymore? <laughs> Um, it says the guy sitting right next to the giant wall of game cases. Ah, all those people. Who gets those? This yeah, is no. just... This is all... Madness. Just, it's all just paint. It's not even real. It's wallpaper. Yep. It's an illusion. So, yeah, I've been playing a lot. I've been dabbling a lot. Oh, I played Warframe, too. I've been I was playing that? a lot. I don't know yet. So, I played one night, and my, my one buddy, David, uh, he's, like, super into it, like, loves the game. I, I enjoy the game, but there is a lot of depth to it. Like, okay. there is a lot of, you have to know how mods work, and you have to know what the progression system is. And the biggest challenge, I think, that I've seen is that they don't really explain any of that. It's just like, hey, here's the game. Go and learn how you have to play this game. Sounds but it, it, it's, it's cool. I like what they do with the progression system. Um, but, yeah, I just I, I had to play it more and see if it's, like, really, really for me, especially with, you know, Destiny going on and whatnot. Yeah, yeah, right yeah. Now. Interesting. Well, you did get to play a lot of games, I which did. is awesome. Um, Dabbler. Yeah, no, it's good to go away and be able to do that. Yes. So, um, well, how do you like, because you're saying you're getting back into um, Wolfenstein 2. Yep. How's that going for the second time it's around? It's good. Um, Is it bringing you in, or are you still like, eh? Well, it's kind of like, it's like, um, I like it, it's cool. Um, but no, I, I wouldn't say that, like, you know, I'm, like, biting at the bit to go back and play it. Right. Uh, right now, like I said, if there was one game that I think captures my attention the most, it's probably uh, Hollow Knight. Yeah. Different gameplay, obviously. Yeah, it's yeah. just... Well, that's, that's why, like, I, I gravitate towards the, the retro games and stuff like that, like, where it first started. Um, it's just, it's just, there's something about that type of style, and it's just, it's just, 
easy to jump in play for a little bit and jump out if you want to and yeah. it's a good time all the way through there's challenging aspects to it there's moments too where you you kind of have to learn what to do then go back and do it yeah so it's neat it's good and then like i said i'm having fun playing god of war of course i'm hitting a very frustrating part because the part that i'm at it just doesn't make sense like why would this guy the you know what would make sense putting it down watching youtube and then go play the new god of war that's what makes so sense. skip uh not one two or three you can play three i feel like I, again i feel like three would have been fine <laughs> i enjoy the games though like, no they're great don't get me wrong i enjoy like the puzzle aspect of it the uh it, it's it's hard it's just this part's just it's it's, a, it's important to play them because like i think when if you do play them all you will by the time you've played the three games and the game mechanics don't really change that all that much yeah, yeah. throughout the three games by right. the time that you get to the new one you'll be like oh my gosh this is this is why yeah, yeah it's yeah. so important this is why this game is so refreshing right because of how far they've come since those three yeah. games well it's like for instance red dead redemption yeah i played the game for a little bit but then i was like you know what i'm probably not gonna have time to play this, this is a very in-depth game so i went to youtube and just watched like the cutscenes and everything like that i don't have the same experience you had because of that nah. and that's the thing like i'd rather play the games mm. because yes there's the frustrating parts but then there's the fun parts the parts that you remember playing like you can't get that experience watching someone do that like nah. you can be like Oh, that that's neat. Yeah, cool. Like you're not questioning it. You're literally just shutting your brain off and watching it as the person does the puzzles, and you're like, okay, okay, get to the next cutscene. Get to the next cutscene. At least this, you're like, all right, how do you get past this? How do you do this? Yeah. It's just like, so sweet. So, anyway, anything to add to what we're playing? No, I played a lot. Yeah. Uh, let us know what you guys are playing down in the comments below. We're interested to hear. And if you have anything to comment or add to what we were talking about, please leave them in the comments below as well. 